Are you concerned about this proposal for an incinerator in Lutz? I'm like, what? What the <laughs> hell? And then, what kind of an incinerator are they putting in Lutz? It seems like a a very industrial thing to put in a residential it, neighborhood. Is this going to be like the incinerator in Dexter New Blood? Anybody see that? Anybody? No. Is that, is that do they, do they burn extra wood in that uh, thing? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hang, hang on a minute. Did anybody see the original Dexter series? Okay. No, the original? I didn't, yeah. I didn't see the original. I know the premise, but I didn't see the original, and I didn't see this new one either. But I did get a Well, lot I of, wouldn't expect you to watch the new one if you didn't watch any of the original Dexter. No, I did get a lot of messages from the Texters when we were doing the story about asexual behavior, and they said that Dexter is asexual. Is that true? That would not be true. Ah, uh, Dexter he dated the girl on the he show. Had a yeah, child. He, uh, no, was it his? Ch- he had a child. Wait a minute. No, no. He I also dated wait. his sister hang, hang on the show. Hang on. Are, are he you fathered talk- a child. Oh, hold on. Are you talking about Michael C. Hall in real life or him playing the character Dexter? Okay. Which? What are you talking about, Fester? I was under the impression that Roxanne said Dexter is asexual, so she was referring to the character. Yeah, he dates on the show. And then yeah, in, and, in New Blood, he's got a new girlfriend. And I just Googled it, and it says Dexter. See, this is why I didn't blurt it out when the texters first sent it to me. It Blurt, says, right. Uh, but it says Dexter being asexual would be unusual since sociopaths are often associated with higher sexual appetites and proclivity toward promiscuity. Oh, to, toward what? Hey. Promiscuity. And murder. Say it again? Promiscuity. Well, it's kind of promiscuity, but, eh, you know, who's counting? Yeah, I, She's uh, really good at it. She's a pro. If pro, you want to make a promise. Pro, they, promiscuity. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going with promise, like like going to the prom. See, if you go We're to making the- making a promise. Yeah, if you go to the prom, then you're, I think you ought to say promise from now on. Not not promise. I think you ought to say promise. Yes, I promise. Pro- <sighs> promise. Promise. Listen, she's not an amateur at her promiscuity. Yeah. Anyway- so I did watch, we finally caught up. Michelle and I watched Dexter New Blood only in the last couple of months. We just had so much stuff on our plate, and you know, I had it on the DVR. It was sitting there where I could just go to my Showtime anytime, and I could watch it on demand. But uh, in I don't want to give too much away, but if you haven't seen it, but Michelle and I, we watched all the original Dexters because it was great. It was just, it was new. It was, you know, it was like a fresh tomato kind of deal. Uh, Right? Isn't that the thing they say on Rotten Tomatoes? It's like 100% fresh or whatever the hell it is. And the original Dexter, if you haven't seen it, it's good stuff. And then we watched New Blood Dexter, the one-off, and I think it's it. It's all done now. I heard Uh, it was terrible. I didn't think it was. You know what? I I told Michelle I didn't think that it was as good as the original Dexter. Uh, But it was. It wasn't. Who told you it was terrible? Um, I just heard reviews because I wanted to watch it, and then I saw it was bad, and it didn't even come close to the original. Yeah, it doesn't come close to the original, but it's not bad. There is some interesting stuff, and that's why I brought up the incinerator, because there is an incinerator that plays a pretty prominent part, and that's what I thought of when I saw this story that neighbors and residents up in Lutz are very, very concerned because there's a proposal for an incinerator called an air curtain incinerator. What the hell is that? I, <laughs> it's a, it's a, essentially a big... Bur- I looked it up yesterday. It's what? a big burning I device. I gave you the story yesterday. But I, I didn't and, know and you, a, you don't even know about it. I didn't you, know that, you live in Lutz. I didn't know what an air curtain incinerator was. <laughs> how, how many people call it Lutz hey, instead of Lutz? You live in Lutz. Sounds like a... Like a cremation machine or something. <laughs> it does. Like it, it'd be at a funeral home. It's yeah. not far off. It's like a stack unit where you put debris in there and it just incinerates. What it. debris are they talking about putting in this thing? I think like uh, wood waste and clean lumber, uh, hang yard on. Here, waste. Here's the story from ABC Action News. Some neighbors in Lutz are airing their concerns over a proposed air permit for the operation of air curtain incinerators. Or ACIs nearby. Uh, Jen Messer feels strongly about the proposal near her home. Yeah, she lives there. Yeah, well, so do you. Wait, I don't live next door to the incinerator. Would you want to breathe that in? Would you allow your children to breathe that in? A notice about the new air pollution source from the Environmental Protection Commission of Hillsborough County said an owner would be operating a new commercial vegetative yard waste and land clearing debris disposal facility. How far are you away from Crystal Lake Road? I'm a couple miles away. 
I think that's the uh, back entrance to Idlewild Baptist Church. It's on Dale Mabry and the Crystal Lakes, the back entrance. EPC also claimed that the permit application proposes installing two permanent ACIs on the property. Uh, the statement said that this type of operation would potentially generate smoke and dust. Cool. That an ACI will blow a curtain of air to promote efficient combustion. So air curtain, so it blows this curtain, ah, whatever the heck. Mm. Anyway, it just, it could put, what, smoke and particulate matter into the air. Is that it? Oh, well, what's yeah. the difference between all the other smoke and particulate? I yeah, mean, especially your smoke and I particulate. Mean, a machine <laughs> churning out a factory's worth of smoke in a residential neighborhood. I mean, oh, I don't a, think it's a good idea. Sounds a little different. The next generation is going to have like three arms. Oh, listen to this. Oh this God. is great. There's a nursing home right next door. Yeah. Oh, my God. Oh, no. Who's smoking out here? All right. We don't have any vacancies this week, but come back next. I can't breathe and I can't get up. Here, I'll so help what you. I haven't seen is where on Crystal Lake Road it is because according to the map, Crystal Lake Road is a fairly short road. It goes from forty one to according to the map. You don't know it. You live in well, Lutz. Well, yeah, but I've I've taken Crystal Lake, but I've I don't know how short it was. Sometimes Have you taken you Crystal Meth? Oh my god! Yes. Is there any Crystal Meth that's cooked in, on Crystal Lake? I have, in Lutz. I have a Crystal <laughs> Meth incinerator. That's fantastic. <laughs> no, it's, it's a small road. I don't know where on Crystal Lake it is, and it's a very residential neighborhood. This neighborhood is houses, is lakes through here. Oh my God! Tampa Bay Asthma Center is right next door as well. Is oh, it re- are you making a joke? Yes, I am. No. <laughs> yes, 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 I am. I, I could kind of picture something like that in that area. The American Association of Children with Breathing Problems yes. is right across the street. Oh, However, God. Friends of Smog are, headquarters. That's our national headquarters, right? in Crystal Lake. <laughs> oh, my God. Emphysema treatments. Uh, oh, yeah. Uh, the Emphysema <laughs> Care Center of Tampa Bay is, is it's amazing. Nursing home. Oh, there's a daycare center next door. Oh. You got kids with asthma center. Mm. Every it's, it's amazing. They're all right next door to this proposed site for the incinerator in Lutz. I don't think it sounds like a very good idea to me. You know, a representative for the permit applicant told ABC Action News the air curtain incinerator would reduce the amount of pollution Versus having an open air burn, and that's the other side. If you have you know those big piles of debris you see on the side of the road where they're just burning yeah. yard waste and lumber and stuff, the incinerator gets it done very quickly and, and I guess more efficiently. And like, what if you want to get rid of a body? Can so you, you just ooh, toss Walmart. it in there easy. as well? So easy. Yeah, just just, just slip the guy a twenty. <laughs> <laughs> you can put anything you want in that incinerator. <laughs>